I've always been a really big fan of nature. Even as a child, when I was upset, while other children locked themselves into their room, I took a blanket, put it in my bike basket, and I was gone. I'm Sonja Hinrichsen, and I'm a visual artist. Snow drawings actually started out of play. I was at an artist residency in Colorado and I had snowshoes because I wanted to hike in the mountains. I found those really big pristine fields of snow and I just had to do something with them. So I started walking these patterns and it became interesting to me when I took out my camera and realized that the shadow that gets cast into the imprint makes the pattern. If there is no sun, there's no pattern. In 2009, there was this pilot who just offered that he could take me up so I could take photographs. It was pretty amazing because I had no idea how it would look from the top. I was in that airplane, I was like, wow, can't believe this. I feel like spirals are sort of inherent in us and in nature. Our galaxy is a spiral. Our fingerprint is sort of a spiral. So I just feel like it's a form that we all understand. It's very meditative walking these patterns. Basically having the landscape sort of evolve around me. And that triggered the idea that this would be something to share with other people. If I do this with community, we can create a much, much bigger piece. Within the past six or so winters, I've done pieces in really many different scales. It's really up to the participants to interpret my idea. In France, the piece kind of wrapped around the mountainside along a ski slope. Lake Catamount in Colorado was probably one of the biggest. We tried to recreate the Yampa River that once flowed through that valley on top of a frozen reservoir that is now there where the river used to be. I asked people to imagine themselves as a drop of water and to think about how water moves, you know, how it meanders. It was amazing, it worked really well. It emphasizes the landscape and hopefully gets people's minds going about how beautiful this landscape is and how important it is that we preserve it that way. This is my first project in the Sierra Nevada. The Sierras just didn't have much snow the past few winters. It's really amazing that we can do this this year. At the Seichan Field Station, there are two big meadows, and I'm hoping that we can cover both of them. <laughs> you basically only have to get that first little round straight, and then you just keep following. You guys can go along the forest line as tight as you can. All right, let's go. This piece really asks me as the artist to give up a lot of control, to just let go and see what happens. When you start out, you know, you're sort of timid and you're feeling it out, but as you get more bold and moving through, you start to develop your own style. There's so many people out there all doing it together and you kind of have to work with each other and like, hey, are you going to use that space over there or can I go that way? Snow is near and dear to our hearts. Most of us ski on it or snowshoe on it just from point A to point B. This is definitely something new and different. 
When people think of public art, they often think of sculpture or murals. Snow drawings are a wonderful way to have art that no one really has to worry about. It comes and it goes. We humans have put so much stuff on this planet. As an artist, I feel like there's no need for me to create even more stuff. I really love the fact that this work is ephemeral. It just melts away and that's that. And then there is only the documentation left of it and of course the memory of it in those people who participated.